Good morning guys, it is time for another temple tour! Today we will be visiting multiple temples starting with King Kakuji, which is the Golden Pavilion Temple. So, let's get started, yeah! Welcome to King Kakuji. That building you see there, hidden behind the tree, is the Golden Pavilion, which is actually covered in gold. It is actually gold paper, like you know that film paper that they put on like sweets and stuff sometimes? That one, it's completely covered in that, and you're not allowed to go inside, which is a dip pity. But if you're rich and like famous, that's the only like time they let you go inside and see the famous paintings. This is kind of a better view of the temple. It's just, it looks like a fairy tale. Not just any fairy tale, a Japanese fairy tale scenery. So creative, Ali. This is a building that I completely forgot what it was. It was one of the like places where the emperor or whatever person of this area would stay at. I only know so much. Look it up. I will look it up. See, guys, it's it's covered in golden foil. It's not made out of gold. It's just golden foil. See what else? It's... And it has a golden rooster all the way at the top. And it's supposed to mean something, but I, I can't remember. It means happiness or something, I don't know. This is a traditional tea house where people would make tea like very formally. I think it's women who make the tea for their guests, maybe. I don't know. I don't know Japanese history. You'd be surprised how much I don't know about Japan, guys. It's a lot. I'm sorry, guys. I am a horrible vlogger. I completely spaced out and forgot to continue vlogging inside of King Kakuji. So when we move to Ryanji, I promise I will film more. We are now walking towards Rajin. Rajin is famous for its rock garden, which is supposed to have like X number of mountains, island things, but apparently no one in the world can count them correctly. Because depending on the view side, you see different mounts of island rock things. It's weird. To the rock garden! Main entrance! I know the kanji for rock and I know the kanji for garden. But God forbid you tell me how to say it in Japanese. Haha! <laughs> Something magical about Japan is that their stairs are never even. So you either make two steps to get to a step, or you do one step to get to a step, and then the heights are all different. So awesome! Don't ask me what the kanji say, I don't know. Ninaji Temple, the temple I live next to, and this is the first time I'm gonna enter. Oh yeah! Oh, indeed, there's some wooden things there. Protectors of the temple. There's Chelsea. I just love Japanese stairs. They're my favorite thing in the world. Oh my god. I hate them so much. That is a building temple thing. It's really pretty and it has a giant green string hanging from it. It's my favorite part. Awkward steps, my favorite. See you
not complaining. You can actually stay in some of these temples as guest houses, but they're like $80 a night, I think, about. Which is not bad, per se. But as a college student, that's a lot of money. And that was it, guys. Those were the temples I visited today with my good friend Chelsea. So you saw King Kakuji, Ruanji, Nyonji, and I hope was Misha. Hopefully, we saw Miyoshiji. I'm not quite sure because I don't know the kanji to that temple. And it didn't have any furigana, so I was just like, yo, well, I think it's this one. So thanks for watching. Look at the temple in the background. Look at the other one. Majestic temples. Goodbye, temple tour over.